The country is falling back as it moves from daylight saving to standard time. Our Alexandra Sidorova checks in with folks in Plattsburgh to see how the extra hour is treating them. Some people, like barista D. Wolf, woke up particularly refreshed on Sunday. Overnight, the clocks went back an hour. I'm one of those seasonal depression girlies, so it always hits me really hard. Um, but now that I'm more of a morning person, I'm less against that hour going away. Yeah, I'm a fan now. I feel like before it felt like a highway robbery every uh, winter, but now I'm, I think I'm adjusting well. But not everyone could spend the extra hour sleeping. A couple of Pizza Bono employees didn't want to talk on camera, but they told me they worked until it finally became 3 a.m. and had to come back a few hours later to open for business at 11. Elizabeth Goodrich co-owns Munchies, a convenience store. She says the winter weather and earlier sunsets may affect her business. Here, it snows a lot. And I don't know if people are going to want to be walking out. But who knows? Jennifer Gay has been a teacher for 20 years. The time change can be difficult for both teachers and students to get used to, and she says it usually takes around a week to adjust. It tends to be dark when they come to school in the morning, and then it's getting dark by the time that they're leaving. So that can be a little challenging in terms of a teacher um, coming to work in the dark and then leaving in the dark. The American Psychiatric Association estimates that about 5% of Americans experience seasonal depression. And it gets a little darker and gloomier and it gets harder to get out of bed sometimes. Um, and a lot of people deal with it and not, not enough people really talk about it. But Gay and others say there are ways to get through it. Just listen to your body and if your body body is tired, rest, um, but if you have the opportunity, get as much sun as possible. We are scheduled to spring forward on March 9th next year, but until then, it'll be getting dark before 5 p.m. In Plattsburgh, Alexandra Sidorova, Channel 3 News.